Ciao ragazzi! And welcome to another video with Lempi. You have spoken, I did ask what kind of topics you'd like to hear from this channel and here we are starting a new series. This is all going to be about financial education in a marriage. Planning as a couple, how do you deal with financial mistakes in yeah, the relationship? Exactly, this is one of the major topics. When you have your partner and you are planning to have a family, this is a huge uh, point of arguments. Like uh, there are many financial arguments uh, uh, that are related to this topic uh, because uh, managing money is always like you getting in other people's business. Uh, so but we are thinking about this series because exactly we want to face these problems in the relationship. Money. What do you mean you want to face this problem? You want to deal with money? No, we want to face the fact that this is a big issue in the relationship and if you want to have an healthy relationship, you should be able to face the money problem with, uh, you know, together in a, in a way that is not always, uh, you know, going to cause argument in the relationship. You can't ignore money issues in a relationship. It's, it's always there because if you look at our daily life, everything has to do with buying something, purchasing something or saving a coin here or there. And so how do you do financial planning? How do you deal with money problems in a relationship? Today's video you have seen it from the title, yes, it is true, we didn't think we were going to be here, but we are in debt. debt. Yes. And, and a whole lot, actually. A lot of debt. We just... If, if you look at, you know, I'm just trying to, to look back at the time we've spent together, and I think for me, I would never think I would get to some point where I feel like I'm, I'm getting myself or ourselves into debt. <laughs> From an entire point of view, like uh, uh, that, we don't like to 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 have debt. We don't buy things on debt. We like to purchase things on cash. But this is a huge problem because uh, if you don't have the cash necessary, that you are not able to afford the standard of life that you want to. And sometimes that causes you even more uh, more debt because you are not able to save money and you are not able to uh, to invest money because you don't have savings. I would love to hear from you what kind of debts you own and what you think is good or bad debts. If you, if you would ask me 10 years ago, I would say when at the beginning of the relationship when we started, I was... Mm -hmm. No credit card, no nothing. We are not getting debts. We also bought like our first car, second car, everything always. Cash. And I always feel yes. like cash is safe. We should just do, you know, as long as you buy it cash, then you are safe. I would never think we would go to debts. Even at, at a certain point, we had like a credit card and we had to cancel it and really keep debt very minimal. Very minimal, yes. But Actually, I can't zero believe debt. Eight, eight years later, down the line, we have decided to take like our biggest debt. Like now we, in, in a very short time, we now have borrowed a lot of money and that's obviously for our mortgage. Yes. But why, what was the reason why we decided that it was the time for us to make this move? First of all, we didn't want to put so much of our savings into buying a house, even though we could have probably afford uh, almost half of the amount of the, that uh, we used to to purchase this property. We didn't put almost any of our savings into it to try to reduce the debt. And that is because we say that with the, invest, with the money that we have saved for the past five years, we are going to invest and we are going to pay off some of the uh, the, the, so we are going to repay off some of the debt that we are going to take with this bank loan. So I was, or oh, I always hear debt is bad and for a long time I would always think debt is bad but I think eventually, even if you ask me a few, few months ago, I still say debt is bad. But I think at a certain point mm -hmm. you realize that some things you can't afford with your cash. Or yeah, maybe absolutely. in some cases it only makes sense to have cash for, for later use. I mean... So, mm -hmm. at the moment, for the first time, we have taken our biggest steps, which is our mortgage. 
And if you haven't been following us for a while, you know, I would also just recommend that up here we have a video where we talk about how we're buying a house and stuff. And it, it was quite of a, a long process, but it's finally also done. And this is why we're talking about this topic today. Absolutely. At the moment, we own, we have, I would say, two kinds of debts. We have our mortgage, then we have a little bit of another debt that we're probably going to tackle another day. But yeah, we have a little bit more. What is that? Yeah, you have debt also. Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay. And, yeah. and then the other one is some debt we took about three years ago for something else, but that's going to be another video on its own. Now we just focus on why we actually took debt. Is debt good? Would you say debt is good? That is not never good. To be honest, debt is never good, especially if you are buying a liability. The problem is always like people are using debt in the wrong way. Okay, debt should be really taken with seriousness and you shouldn't afford your style life on debt. That is the biggest problem. You shouldn't purchase your clothes, you shouldn't purchase your car uh, mm -hmm. and you shouldn't do like buying groceries on that that is a kind of debt that doesn't make sense because you are buying a liability or you are buying a, uh, some expensive uh, uh, things that are not really uh, first necessity for you and you are putting, going to pay them in the future more what that what they are supposed to be so that is a problem with the lifestyle i would say like if you have to if you want to have a better lifestyle and you cannot afford it you should never go on that but 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 for us we decided to go in debt because in this particular moment in time there are some advantage on taking this kind of debt we have decided that we want to upgrade our lifestyle our living situation we wanted to have a biggest apartment we checked actually what the market would offer for the amount of money that we would pay for our rent for a bigger space and we said okay but you know what that is exactly the amount of money that we would, we would pay if we have a loan and we are buying a property. So why are we throwing this money away? We can use our house, we can use our property as like a saving account and every month instead of uh, paying uh, uh, rent and paying uh, these expenses that is going away forever from your wealth, you are purchasing a little bit of your house at the time. And you know, if you ask Ali, especially when we really started, I think it's set in your mind mm -hmm. when you get a property and you, you go to the bank. Before that, you're like just checking. But when they say the bank say, come and sign, we're like, I, I was like in panic, like, are we sure we are going to pay mm -hmm. this many years to get a house? So, of course, for me, it was a little bit of a shock just because I have said, I think we never bought anything on debt before apart from. Especially minor thing, I'm talking about if you wanted a flight ticket, yeah. you would never buy that on debt or things like that. We would always just opt to, to, to say, we do vacation when we can afford and not when our credit card help can allow us a vacation and things like that. But yeah, here we are, we have this debt and I think at the moment we feel it's the right decision because obviously we are taking it for a place that we're going to call home and not for like uh, simple things that we just want to use once in a day or for a car or anything like that and I just think I hope in the future this we're going to look back and feel like this is a nice decision that we've made and I was also very happy that we were just able to come together and say you know what we are doing this together mm -hmm. because I think we are talking here about finances in a marriage or financial education in a marriage and I think that is important that decisions that you're making around that mm -hmm. when you're taking debt also you have to agree and I think you can also say before for me I was always like no baby we are not doing debt you get what I'm saying yeah I mean no, uh, we're getting I mean, a house no we're rather renting because we're paying cash okay if you if you have to track uh, what was like uh, our evolution in terms of our financial education when we first met, the only things we were thinking about was savings, saving, saving, savings, every single and penny that we could. And everything pay cash and really a, a minimal lifestyle, we would not even travel so much, so we were really savings. Then we started, like the, the other biggest step was starting to invest. And then I think this is, we are now in the third step, taking debt, but we are aware of the, of the fact that, first of all, we can we can uh, afford the debt we are taking 
and secondly that is a debt that is not going to be for buying uh, uh, liabilities but we are buying an asset because we are buying on our own house and that is what is important for me like knowing that when I'm taking that I'm able to afford it and I'm not buying something that is going to devalue in t during in time like I know that whatever is happening uh, I almost have whatever is happening in the next 20 years they have at least the value of the house is going to keep the value that uh, we uh, that we have purchased it for or even increase it. I like that you're positive. For me, I'm a little bit uh, skeptical with this value increase because I feel like, yes, you can speculate that it's going to increase. You're not sure. You just wait five years later and see what Okay, happens. let me say, say things. <laughs> if, if you are paying every single day uh, house, a rent for a house, that money in 30 years times are going to be gone. They are just going to be gone. You never get, get them, getting them back. Never. So, yeah, are we going to even that, the money that we put in the debt for the house? Yes, because whenever you want to sell the house, if you are never selling until you die, you're not getting back neither. Yeah, but that means you have repaid your debt, and then you are not paying rent anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't know. With this house debt thing, for me, it's, it's like I know we have had this discussion before we even started for me mm -hmm. to come to an agreement of saying, yeah, let's do it. Because for me it was always, I don't know, because it, most of the house owners that I know also live in their house. So I don't know if it's really an investment or it's just an asset in terms of, in case you say I'm leaving Germany, maybe you have that as an asset. But if you say I'm staying in this place forever, then I also don't okay. see how you're gaining. But you don't need to explain because I think I'll never understand if you've heard it before already. But that's it doesn't just matter, be. the important thing is that I understand it. Ooh. Ooh. No, then that is definitely <laughs> a financial mistake. You don't mm -hmm. have to understand things and not communicate to me how you are. I'm trying, but you are not yeah, able. Like, this thing, like, no, it's know. not that you are not able. You are not willing to understand, I guess. Okay, yeah. so I think that was it for this video today, guys. Let us know in the comment if you have enjoyed, if you want to know more about uh, purchasing a house on debt uh, or if you want to know about more about financial education we will be anyway making a series from now on and we will explore these uh, topics uh, more so if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a comment in this comment section below like it of course and if you like uh, to share it uh, with some friends that would be nice as well